What's going on, people? Welcome to another edition of Every Man is a Millionaire. Today, we're going to talk about why I am not an investor. I am a business owner founder because I make more money. There are many, many people who are caught on this investor tip. I'm an investor. How does one get to be an investor? One has had some financial success somewhere in their life or they inherited a lot of money. I didn't inherit a lot of money. I'm going to tell you in this video while you want to be a business owner and not an investor. You want to be a business owner, not an investor. If this is your first time here, this is Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather. What we do here is talk about how to make money, how to keep money, how to protect money, and how to keep stacking money. Through entrepreneurship and hustling, that's what we do here. And then today, I have a special for you. There's a Black Friday special number six, I believe. It'll be below this video, first link, it'll be pinned. There are many people who are caught up on Bitcoin. And this went down, I was gonna do this video anyway, but this adds a little bit more texture to it. I've been making prediction after prediction about Bitcoin that have been coming true. And I started these predictions in 2017. From the top, I said that Bitcoin was gonna crash after selling my Bitcoin at the top of the market. It crashed. Then I made another prediction that once the kids got out of school, Bitcoin was gonna crash again. It crashed. Then I made another prediction that if, when the kids went back to school, if Bitcoin did not appreciate rapidly, it was gonna crash even harder. It crashed harder. And here's another prediction. If Bitcoin does not get any traction, you're looking at being able to get Bitcoin early 2019, first quarter for 1500. Now, how am I making these predictions? Here's the meat of the video. When I started my first business, I didn't know what I was doing. And after about year two, going into year three, I noticed certain things kept happening over and over again. The seasons of my business. When the kids got out of school, people started looking for deals, things slowed down, the economy slowed down. And then I investigated and I started interviewing people who had kids. And I've noticed that the folks who didn't have kids were still spending money, but it was harder to get over time. It was just uh, systematically a slowdown. And the people with kids, they couldn't do anything. Their kids were out of school. They were eating them out of house and home. Their air conditioning bill was going up. Their food bill was going up. So whatever disposable money they had, it got sucked up by the kids. So half of America has kids. This system, this, this theme that happened, and it happened every year just like clockwork. What I did is I adjusted my game and I had money set aside every month so I could buy more during the summer from my storage auction business because prices were cheaper because the economy was slower because everybody was going through the same thing. So because I did some pre-planning, I was able to ball out during the summer, get whatever I wanted, which led to getting the warehouses, getting two warehouses so we could stockpile stuff, so we could put stuff away for the fall. And this is one of the big things that happened year after year with the fall. Once the kids went back to school, people started spending money again. People started like, and then we ran to the holidays and they started spending even more money. Then after the holidays, they were out of money. Then the holidays were over and then they didn't have any money again and the economy slowed down again. So there was this predictable cycle of economic activity that was based upon what people had. And so when I made my Bitcoin predictions, no, I don't know how to read technical charts and no, I don't look at all this stuff. I look at the condition of the people. And this is how I was able to make these predictions with a great deal of accuracy because only a certain group of people can buy Bitcoin year round. This would be your top 15, maybe 20%, definitely your top 10% of income earners around the world. Also, in my analysis, 200 people own 75% of Bitcoin, which means manipulation, manipulation. So I sold my Bitcoin and got out of it because 
one of the things that came to me was, since your predictive analysis was so good, why didn't you short Bitcoin? And this told me a lot about the individual because there are a million and one ways to make money. I'm going to hop off of this train of the YouTube channel, the educational products, which have made money year after year for nine years to go over here and get into this cryptocurrency. So I'm going to leave something that I know makes money to go over here to hope to make money. This is why I did not short Bitcoin. This is why I didn't pay Bitcoin any attention because I'm already rich. And everybody who was doing well in their businesses, who was making money, they all said the same thing here on the internet. I'm not messing with Bitcoin. I'm gonna look at it. If I buy some, I'm only gonna buy a little bit. You know why? Cause they were already rich. I am rich in time. I am rich in freedom. I am rich in the ability to say whatever I want to on Facebook without repercussions of me losing my job. Cause I don't have a job. I have a business. If you're already rich, you're not trying to get rich quick. You're not susceptible to scams or get rich quick schemes, which Bitcoin in its original form was a beautiful and still is a beautiful concept, but it got prostituted by these whales. And I saw the carnage that was coming and I refused to participate. I sold my Bitcoin and I really backed away from it because it was very addictive. I mean, it's exciting. It's like, all right, you spend a hundred bucks here on Monday and then Friday you've got $500 more. That's intoxicating. That's like an addiction. And you had people out here uh, getting second mortgages, running up their credit cards to buy this cryptocurrency. It was sheer madness. So I got out of the market and I've observed from afar and now I'm giggling. My, my inner boy is giggling his butt off because I was right. Because, because I, was right. I was right. Because I was right. Look, I know you want more money. I know you want to do better in life. But the fastest way to do it is to start a business and start as early as you can. Here on this channel, I have been saying the same message and I've told you, if you listen to me, you did not lose any money. Boy, and on the dip, you didn't lose a penny because you didn't buy on the dip. When you start a business, you make more money than quote investors because you have an active role in what you're doing to make money. When you invest in something, you're a passive investor. You're just hoping that the management team knows what they know, uh, know what they're doing. You just hope the marketplace, you have no control. The only control you have is how much money you put into that investment. That's it. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Uh, the other day I showed you where the rich people of Atlanta live. I went down Northside Drive and I showed you all of those long driveways and all of those old estates. Those people have businesses or they inherited the money from someone who started a business. Why do people who need money go to business owners? The American stock market is so the average person can buy a piece of a business. Hello? Can I get a hello? So the fastest path to making money is to start a business, a successful business. That's the key. So this is why I am a business founder and not an investor. Uh, if you're making like 20 million a year and you want to drop two or three million in some investments, that's a different ball game. But you know what? Literally only 7% of the population makes that kind of money. 7%. So being quote, an investor is not a normal thing because you have so much money that if this three million didn't pan out, you still got 17 million more to ball out on. I don't really believe in traditional investing and shorting and all this other stuff because I've had the privilege, the pleasure to start businesses that make a lot of money. I make more money per month than most people make all year long. I don't need to get rich with Bitcoin. I don't need to buy a Bitcoin Lambo. I don't need that. I have the money to get a Lambo and I don't have a Lambo cause I don't like them but I am probably going to get that Porsche 911 4S. That's probably going to be in my future. I'm, I'm thinking about it. This is the deal to my young folks, to my 16 year olds, 17 year olds, 18 year olds, 20 year olds, start your business today. Young man, young woman, start it today. Get in the game early as possible so you can take all of those L's when you're young. 
you're, you're 17, 18, 19, you go out of business, you lose money. You know, you're still kind of invincible. You're still kind of invulnerable. You know, it's like, brush that off your shoulders, right? Do that. Do not get caught up in this cryptocurrency because you're seeing some brilliant, nerdy young guys who bought into cryptocurrency very early. They bought a lot. And now that they are making a lot of money. You know that it's still very rare. That's rare as hen's teeth. There ain't that many of them. Uh, one of the Bitcoin evangelists, he was going around the world talking about the beauty of Bitcoin. They actually had to donate money to this dude because he, he didn't have any money. He didn't have any Bitcoin. They actually had to raise money for this dude. Understand, the way that we are situated today, cash is king. You have to convert Bitcoin in most cases to fiat currency to use it. And until Bitcoin becomes ubiquitous and can be used at the drugstore, the gas station, all very easily, very seamlessly, very transparently, it's not going to take off. Now, I believe we're 15 to 20 years away from cryptocurrency really being massively adopted. And there are many people who are like, well, Glennon, you're wrong. If you don't give me a fact based answer, not some Bitcoin talking points as uh, Sayoshi, whatever his name is. I'm deleting your comment because you're just blowing air. You're just talking out your butt. You're not giving me any facts. In this video, I gave you the facts and the rationale of why I made my predictions. If you ain't doing that, you're just full of it. Understand, if you want to live in one of those big houses where the rich people of Atlanta or the rich people of Las Vegas or the rich people of Iowa, wherever you live, wherever you want to be, start a business. I'm telling you, it is worth the pain, the tears, in the agony. It is worth it. But once again, it's not going to happen as fast as you want. Essentially, it's going to be three to six times as long as you think it should take. That's the reality of it. And I'm here to tell you the truth, because when you get good information, when you get the right information, you make better decisions. And that's why I am a business owner, business founder and not an investor. Uh, there's some people who are geniuses who figured out this thing with Wall Street and they make millions of dollars but the average American loses or breaks even in the stock market. That should tell you something. So once again, there's a Black Friday special below. Go ahead and grab that. And I've had some people say, like, hey man, I don't get paid to Friday. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep dropping the Black Friday specials. You need to be on the email list, but I will leave them open until Friday. How's that? How's that? so you can be successful. And if you don't have any money, I got you. Go below, get the free books and start hustling. Don't just download them, actually become involved. Start doing this stuff. Get yourself some money, player. All right, that's the deal. You know, there's a free gift from me to you. Go right ahead. So that, I'll see you guys in the next one.